So after you've set up some initial login test workflows, you'll want to change the login time notification threshold so that you only receive alerts if it takes longer than a certain number of seconds to connect to a targeted remote desktop services environment. If you want to receive emails every time that a test is performed, for example, if you want to review login script performance at different times of day with recorded screenshots, leave this value at zero. Otherwise, change it to the number of seconds that you consider to be an unacceptable delay. Another benefit of Remote Desktop Canary is that you can program it to connect to your environment on a less frequent interval and record screenshots of the login sequence, including what happens as login scripts run and initial programs start up. For instance, I'm creating a workflow that will run every 30 minutes and will email me a series of screenshots taken in chronological order so I can see how long it takes for apps to load once I connect. You can send this data to a separate email account and then see how the user experience fares during different times of day. Notice that I configured the login time threshold to zero seconds so that I will always be emailed screenshots during each test run. Another feature of Remote Desktop Canary is its ability to send digest emails every few hours that summarize all of the connection attempts it made during a specific time period. At a glance, you can see if login times increase or decrease during different times of day, and you can also see if there were connection errors at specific times. Since you will only normally be notified when an RDP login sequence takes over a certain number of seconds to complete, or if there is a login failure or connection error, the digest email is a great way to see performance as a whole over time. In addition to having Remote Desktop Canary summarize the login performance of your RDS collections in digest emails, you can also have it store these metrics in a SQL Server database table. Doing so is as easy as creating a standard SQL login to a new or existing SQL or Azure SQL database. Make sure that the login you create has rights to create tables and to write data into your desired SQL database. Once that is done, Remote Desktop Canary will create its table and indexes, if they do not already exist, and will begin storing statistics about your login tests during each test run. Finally, you can adjust several properties that control how Remote Desktop Canary conducts its synthetic RDP login tests. To do so, go to the Run Tests menu and select the Testing Preferences menu item. In this area, you can adjust the number of seconds by which Remote Desktop Canary staggers each login workflow test you have defined to better balance the load on the system running our software. You can also specify the resolution of the client 
when you are doing screenshot recording and whether or not screenshots are recorded in color or grayscale. Lastly, you can specify how frequently new screenshots are recorded during the login sequence.